the same uh, here in this problem uh, we also address the LMTD method so remember when we address LMTD method we always refer to the double pipe heat exchanger okay the problem is exactly the same as the one before except that uh, now we have different configuration it is desired to cool uh, 0 0.6 kg per second of oil from 125 degrees celsius so this is a t hot in and this will be t hot out water is available with a flow rate of 0 0.5 kg per second at a temperature of 10 degrees celsius so this is a t cool in the overall coefficient of heat transfer is 85 watt per square meter kelvin okay um i want to put remark here if for example we don't know we are not given the uh, u okay uh, overall heat transfer coefficient u if we are not given u so what you can do is you can refer back to the table and then uh, estimate we, uh, we you are given the table that gives you uh, the rough estimation of the overall heat transfer coefficient of different uh, different uh, configuration in this case oil and water okay so the, the question is determine the length of 3 cm uh, inner diameter to being required for a parallel flow heat exchanger we are given uh, cp oil uh, 2.1 kg per kilogram kelvin and cp of water equals 4.18 kilo, kilo joule per kilogram uh, kelvin same things uh, you need to make a basic illustration first of how uh, the system works uh, here you see uh, the one on the left uh, uh, it is a parallel flow so the hot fluid uh, coming from uh, the left side so this is the hot fluid and also we have the cold fluid from uh, the left side that is why it's called a parallel flow okay um, Okay, if you look here, we don't know yet what what is the temperature of the water that exiting from the heat exchanger. So we need to calculate that one first before we can apply the LMTD. Uh, the same as before, uh, we can calculate the uh, the temperature of water out by using the basic 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 energy balance equation in heat exchanger. Uh, since we know that Q hot the equal to Q uh, sorry equal to m hot and this is in this case is oil cp oil uh, delta t oil and then this one uh, equal to q cold uh, which is equal to m uh, uh, m uh, cold here i will say uh, uh, cp cold and delta t cold so if we know what is delta t cold we'll be able we'll be able to find a t uh, temperature of uh, water uh, coming out so what we have uh, it's uh, exactly the same as the previous calculation we know that uh, the t water out equal to 46.17 then what different is now we have a, a delta t i delta t i is on the inlet side of the hot uh, stream so it's delta ti then here is equal to uh, 125 minus 10 uh, which we get from here and then delta t out uh, equal to uh, 65 minus uh, 46.17 degrees celsius so since since there is a big difference uh, between the two delta t delta ti and delta to uh, then you can expect that we will have different lmtd uh, and then here we find out the lmtd equal to 453.14 next um, since the problem uh, the the required solution is the area or the length of the, the pipe so we need to find out first the total area required uh, that one we can uh, use the general equation uh, where, which is q equal to u a uh, lmtd so we have the lmtd we have u given so we need to find out q q can be found using either this equation 
or you can also use this equation okay so here we find out q equal to 75.6 kilowatt uh, so next uh, we use the uh, equation of q equal to ual mtd uh, and uh, we find out then uh, the total uh, area of the double five exchanger is one uh, 16.7 square meter then uh, we can calculate the length of the uh, required pipe uh, by using this equation yeah uh, if you notice now uh, uh, if we compare with the control flow heat exchanger the total length uh, of the pipe is higher again uh, things to highlight from this problem is that um, double pipe heat exchanger for the large scale uh, process uh, is really un uh, uh, it's, it's not really uh, practical in terms of the required space. Uh, what, 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 what can be done is that uh, we can make a lot of passes by bending the pipes, but then still the investment cost in terms of the material will be huge. That is the, dis the disadvantage of uh, this type of heat exchanger.